The role that the Social Development Finance and Administration Division's Social Research Unit um, is responsible for is the assistance in the development of social policy around the area of homelessness. So most of the work that we do here focuses on gathering information and statistics for uh, in order to get a much better understanding of the homelessness situation. So we collect, we work with, with uh, information and staff from other divisions of the city. Uh, we also work with other levels of government in collecting and analyzing information about the nature and extent of homelessness. So a lot of the work that we do here um, is really to, to support uh, policy and program uh, development through the use of metrics. That's basically what we do here. So all of the work here again is, is around more of the research and understanding of the homelessness situation. Uh, like any social issue, the, uh, you must look at the issue beyond its borders. So in other words, if you're looking at homelessness, um, we here uh, provide the, uh, the benefit of looking at homelessness from different angles. It's not only looking at homelessness from the angle of people who are, uh, who are just homeless or, or the housing market, but we will be looking at related factors such as the economy. Mm -hmm. right? we, we look at uh, trends on unemployment rates, uh, labor force rates, uh, we look at uh, metrics around health conditions, use of food banks. So we look at those different angles and we try to apply them to the lens of homelessness. So the, the, the one thing that we do here that is a little bit different is that we try to step away and not just look at it from a program service point of view, but to begin to understand the problem by looking at its various um, relationships to other external factors that would influence homelessness. Well, let's start with the profile of homelessness. Uh, most people think that uh, a homeless person is a typical single male um, on the street um, that's an alcoholic, and that's far from the truth. Um, the face of homelessness um, is, has changed, and it continues to change. Uh, what we're finding now is that the profile of homelessness is now no longer just a single male phenomena, but it includes families. Um, in fact, families staying in the shelter system have, have increased over the last uh, decade and seems to continue to increase. We're seeing a lot more families with children, a lot more lone uh, uh, parents with children staying in the shelter system. So it's important to understand that the face of homelessness is beginning to change. Um, if you don't understand how that's changing, then it's going to be much more difficult to address the problem. So um, that's the first thing. The second thing is that uh, we're finding that the, the lengths of time that people stay in shelters um, is changing as well. Um, on average, the num average number of days that people stay in the shelter system has been increasing over time. Um, and that um, brings together um, a much more difficult challenge uh, in terms of service delivery um, and meeting the needs of those individuals because there must be reasons why they're staying in the shelter longer. There are many different reasons. Which brings me to the third point that um, the reasons why people are staying in shelters is also changing and is also becoming uh, a much more varied um, in, its, in its reasons. Some people are here because they're using the shelter system, for example, as uh, temporary housing. Right. Uh, uh, others are obviously living rough on the street. Those numbers are are going up as well. The city is uh, doing its best to monitor that situation through an ongoing count of those people living rough on the street. Um, so these these myriad of factors are really becoming challenges for us to make sure that we meet the needs of those individuals. We're seeing a lot more children and youth as well in the system. Um, it's Again, as I said before, it's no longer a male thing. There's a lot of females in the shelter system. That's changed. Um, the uh, reasons why they leave um, the shelter system is also complex. Um, uh, they don't necessarily leave because they find housing. Some people may leave and come back into a shelter um, a, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months later. So the variation in the use of shelters is, we're, we're seeing is also changing. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a vast number of individuals that are also um, one-time users of the shelter system. They come in and use the system and we never see them again. So there's that group of individuals. 
like addressing any social phenomena or issue, we can't do it alone here at the city. We rely a lot on our network, not only of other divisions within the city, but our network in the community. Uh, we work a lot with the community-based uh, sector in addressing this issue, so they're critical and they're key. They're basically the eyes in the community. They understand the problems and they also work with uh, the homeless population. So working with them is, is, as a stakeholder and a key partner is crucial. Um, the other uh, stakeholders that are crucial to this are other levels of government. Uh, the provincial and federal government, of course, uh, provide a myriad of different programs uh, in, in the area of housing um, and homelessness, and there's, there's definitely a need to make sure that all levels of government are working in a coordinated fashion uh, to address this problem.